This is Chad Sosby with Prep Star Stats. We're here in uh, Locust Grove, Georgia for the uh, Locust Grove 7-on-7 seven -seven matchup. It's a quick, quick, uh, fun little event that Coach Satterfield is putting on for these schools, a passing league where um, – and the schools come and compete and work on their quarterback and receiver skills. We got fast games here. It's uh, about 20 minutes a game, so everybody moves fast all day long. Yeah, it's a single elimination event that uh, you know I think the kids have a lot of fun at. The coaches have a lot of fun. It's a good event to be at. Good competition for the kids in the middle of the summer and uh, mix up their practice schedule. Been out here watching these uh, these guys play. It looks very fun. It looks like it probably uh, boosts morale a little bit. Mixes up the practice schedule. These kids are having fun. A pretty good event. Well, it only boosts morale if you win. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, it just uh, it, like I said, you want to see kids compete. You know, and in practice, you kind of go against your own teammates. You kind of know what they can do and what they can't do. And so, anytime you compete against other teams, it really helps you. What would you tell a senior, you know, going into this last season to soak this up and just, you know, go a little bit about that? What would a senior's perspective of this? Well, um, you know, like you said, all of us have been through it. But the biggest thing I would imagine is that, you know, this is your last opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody's guaranteed a scholarship. Nobody's uh, guaranteed to play on the next level. Um, that's a tremendous opportunity when you get it, but everybody doesn't get it. So yeah. you just want to take it day by day, get best you can so you have no regrets. Seven on seven competition, Coach. I'm here with Coach Green, offensive coordinator for Luella High School. Coach, um, you know this is a pretty good event, and I know you're the offensive coordinator. Take. I just want a little bit about, you know, what you take from your quarterbacks and receivers, what they get out of this camp, and how that can they can progress from here. Uh, we just went into this camp just trying to get a lot of repetition. So we looked at it as a as more of a practice, just to practice our offense. We put in a lot of new stuff in spring. Mm -hmm. So we were just looking to get a lot of repetitions and practice our base stuff again and again out of different sets, different formations, and just to get as many reps as possible. We're a Henry County school, and there's a lot of Henry County schools, so a lot of the kids, they know each other. They've been playing together for a lot of years. So you're right, it's a, it's a good chance for them just to get out and compete. Um, you know, in just a different atmosphere besides just your regular practice. They actually get to go against different schools. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
South Side Shootout. Guys, this is the fifth time we've had this. Moved it from uh, Lovejoy down here to uh, Warren Holder. Goes to MLK. You got it? Hey, guys, great job. Great job. All right. Hey, all we do is win, baby. <laughs> This is Coach Carson and the quarterback, John Quayle. Uh, first of all, Coach, I just want to congratulate you on the win. Just kind of go into a little bit about what you get out of an event like this as a team. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's basically work, you know, working on the passing game, and that's really what it's all about for us. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're the throwing football team, and the uh, only way for us to get better is to come out and participate in events like this and, uh, you know, it gives our guys to actually get a lot of reps in terms of catching and throwing. And uh, it's a good event. We've actually participated in this, uh, you know, a couple years in a row. And, of course, I did it, you know, when I was at Avondale as well. And, you know, it's a lot of good teams down here. And, um, you know, I just look forward to the work. I want your kind of view on that, of what you get out of an event like this and uh, getting some looks. As an event like this, all we get is chemistry, working on chemistry, building teamwork, and trying to get better as a team and working on our routes so everything in the game is just going to be easy. As we do this and keep winning, everything's going to be easy. It's a good time of year for pretty much every school. Nobody, Everybody's undefeated. Everybody's expectations are high. So just go into what you're looking for and your expectations on this season. Uh, well, I mean, the ultimate goal is to win a championship. You know, first we got we, we, we won a region championship last year in the first year there at King. And uh, we want to duplicate that, of course, and uh, hopefully win a state championship. And, and that's really what it's all about. I mean, you prepare from uh, January to August, mm -hmm. you know, for that purpose and that purpose only. So, uh, um, you know, these guys have worked hard since January. You know, we started off season weight program and, uh, you know, they've worked hard. And, and really the month of June is, is uh, very busy for us because mm -hmm. all we do is compete in tournaments and uh, uh, just really to try to see exactly where we are. And, and um, you know, I'm real pleased with the guys. I'm, I'm looking for some special things from this group. This is Prep Star Stats. I'm Chad Sobey. I'm here with uh, Coach Locust Grove, Coach Satterfield. Um, he's the host of this 7-on-7 uh, seven -seven event. It's the fifth annual shootout, Coach. I just wanted you to talk about a little bit about this event and the history. It's a good event and just how it become this. Well, you know, it's all about who come, who shows up, and a lot of these teams have uh, been coming since we started, and then we just carried on year after year. We started over in Lovejoy at the uh, soccer complex, and then we, we moved it down here to we get a lot of help from uh, Henry County Parks and Recreation, you know, and uh, it's just seven on seven, and the guys got here and get a lot of work, and then as you see, and y'all got footage of today, is quite competitive. Yeah, I've talked to some other coaches about the uh, competitiveness of it and how it gets, uh, gets out of the realm of regular practice and gets them doing something they like to have fun doing it. Yeah, it teaches them to play a little bit under pressure, you know, compete. We got the referees out here, the clock going, and it's a game-like atmosphere. You know, we modeled it after the universities and the Atlanta Falcons had a 7-on-7, seven -seven, and we just wanted something here local that we could, you know, we want to try to expand on it next year and maybe go a couple of sites, you know. Everybody's expectations are high as preseason, so just a little bit about what you uh, look forward to in this season. Well, at Locust Grove, you know, going into our third year, so it, we got to start uh, winning some football games, you know, third, fourth year of a new school, you got to start competing and I saw a little bit of that a little bit of that today you know young guys are having to grow up fast so uh this is what it's all about, getting here with the big boys, uh, Henry County, MLK. You, you you know, you might see Lovejoy, a lot of these teams, you might see some of these teams in the dome, you know. Mm -hmm. We're here at the 7-on-7 seven seven, uh, fifth annual shootout for Locust Grove. This is Coach Satterfield. I'm Chad Sosby. Coach, thanks for having us out.